Hi, Prakash Daphne here. Thank you for sending in your next essays. Well done on the corrections. They look fantastic. Really, really good work. It's such a uh, really helpful way to improve. Just take the time with the corrections. Uh, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, of course you you need this to start with. Um, remember, we won't use it all the time. What it does is give you a really good framework and a sort of guideline uh, onto how to organise the essay, which is what we need at this stage. Later on, we'll leave bits of it because it's very long as well. That's the other problem uh, with it is that it's just quite long. So we can, as we go through, we can change bits of it, keep the bits you like, don't worry about the other bits. Okay, but for now, it's perfect. Well done. Experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated that many people are inclining towards unhealthy eating habits. Okay, um, debated suggests that there is a conversation. If you're going to say that many people are inclining towards unhealthy, that's more like a statement. So you could hear, say observed would be better here. Or... If you're going to use debated, you'd have to say debated whether people rather than that. So either debated whether or observed that. Okay, so one or the other there. Um, okay. Um, some believe this might have detrimental effect on families, individuals, and even society. Personally, I strongly agree. Okay, good. Now, watch out here. Because here, you're using the same words as in here. So you really, really need to avoid doing that, okay? Um, because that's the examiner's words, not yours, okay? On, so on traditional um, family bonds, like connections, um, and on health. Okay, so you don't have to say exactly the same words. I mean, it would be unusual to say exactly the same thing, but what you're trying to show the examiner here is that you understand, okay? This essay will argue about the same. Using examples from the, um, yeah, okay. I would say this essay will, rather than that, I would say discuss these key issues. Uh, that For me, that works really nicely. Using examples from the Indian government and university, okay. Good start, nice. There's ample evidence that consuming processed food might increase obesity, brilliant. So that links up with this idea of health, which we've put in there. Firstly, when an individual eats junk food frequently, good, they might gain excessive weight as it's full of hidden sugars and fats, good. What I really like here, you've used might, fantastic. Okay, again, might there. And you've also used this frequently. This is really nice, well done, it's looking good. Secondly, many modern families may show interest in instant food due to a lack of time. Connect this together, keep going. But in reality, because we're looking for nice long sentences here. Although traditional foods take time to prepare, members of the families can share the workloads like chopping, cooking, and even cleaning the dishes. Fantastic. Lovely writing there. And super useful, although you've got that absolutely correct. Difficult sentence to use, but well done. Uh, this, rather than it, I would put this. And then I would use would. Rather than will, uh, which is a little bit strong, with this IELTS you're kind of suggesting, the same way as you did with frequently. So this would, so I would take out that, not only reduce the burden on housewives, comma, but also increase infinitive as well, because you're using, even if you're saying with if you use will, you want the infinitive. So it would reduce and increase the bonding between family members. Nice. For example, recent research demonstrated that when families share cooking responsibilities, it improves their relationship. <coughs> Excuse me, as they spend more time together. I, I would say in creating stronger connections. I don't think you need anything more about food because you've talked about it quite a lot. But here, this is the, the point. When they spend more time together, this is the consequence. This is what happens. But that's a lovely, lovely paragraph. Well done. Really, really good work there. It's very clear. It's easy for me to follow. The coherence is great. So that makes a big difference. As 25% of the marks is the coherence, how the essay flows.
Um, now, but this is too informal. So that is not kind of appropriate style for IELTS, but you could go however, or on the one hand, on the other hand. So here, however, the um, negative, show me your changing direction. The negative impact on society. Oop. Um, uh, the negative impact of what? Of consuming these processed foods and unhealthy meals is that it could lead. Okay, so um, your sentence isn't quite complete there. These processed foods is that uh, it. So the negative impact is it is the negative impact referring backwards to that. Could lead to chronic diseases, irregularities and blood pressure and ulcers. As these, uh, I wouldn't put repeat chronic diseases. Okay, but I will put as or such illnesses. Okay, require frequent visit to doctors. This might increase pressure on nurses and other. I wouldn't use our, just use nurses and other healthcare workers, comma, who are already working long hours. Right, instead of working long hours, careful on repetition here. Uh, you could say something like overstretched, which means the same thing, useful word already overstretched. For example, an extensive study states that over 90% of healthcare workers are working overtime to serve patients with chronic diseases triggered by, by uh, unhealthy diets. So keep connecting back every sentence, every example, connect it back to the title and connect it back to the paragraph. So you've made the point here that uh, the bad food leads to the illnesses and then the disease is caused by the bad food. Okay. Thus, it's possible to state that consuming fast food has numerous negative impacts on our society. Okay. I've used negative there. So you could put here as an alternative detrimental consequences. So write that down as a phrase if you're not familiar with that and then make sure you're able to use that uh, detrimental consequences on our society. Lovely. That is a really good argument. Very, you can see it's kind of easy for me to read. I'm kind of you know, not struggling at all. The flow is very logical. Your paragraph is very well structured. This is what we're looking for. Good work. From the argument examples given here, yeah, I firmly believe unhealthy eating habits have detrimental effects. Okay, you've got that. Sorry, I didn't spot that. Uh, you could put here, it's another word, dangerous or damaging. So we've got lovely vocab here, haven't we, on our community. Um, it's predicted that people will emphasize, just emphasize direct object home eating cut food in the future. Why? In order to minimize such risks. Okay. This last sentence here, I find it a little bit hard. Sometimes I think it needs a little bit more. So add something personal connecting to this essay, uh, which you have, but just add a little bit more there. But that's a nice piece of writing. I'm really impressed by that. Really, really good work. And um, write down all the new vocab we've had and then just make a note of not repeating. We were talking about grammar, I think, last time, or maybe now is a good moment to talk about grammar. Check out conditional sentences. So, for example, if, uh, uh, employee, if uh, busy, if it's workers limited their intake of processed foods to a once a week, comma, there would be a uh, dramatic reduction in health or in 
diet related health problems. So here you've got a classic second conditional, if plus the past simple here, and then there would be. Okay, so would plus the infinitive. So that's the second conditional. I think we definitely need a conditional sentence in here. Um, also passive verbs, so passive voice uh, processed foods have been said to cause damage. Da, 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 da. So here you've got the present perfect passive. Uh, if you, again, if you're not sure on that, check out the grammar website, which you like. Make sure you're happy with uh, how we use the passive. So but next time, let's look for some upgrade on the grammar. OK, but good work in there. Really nice. Uh, yeah, informal. Um, but be careful. I mean, it worries me a little bit when you said as many informal words as you can. Yes. But remember, it's a language exam. So remember, you still need to be able to show skill here. Don't go too informal. Yeah. Hey, buddy. OK, I hope you're not mad at me. I'm really sorry. I definitely wouldn't use that for not meeting you the other day. I'm trying to explain why I couldn't make it. Good. Once again, I'd like to say sorry before going into the whole story. OK, although uh, I was in Vancouver last week on my business trip, I had to cancel our meetup at the last minute. I know I should have at least answered your calls, but it was an emergency. Lovely paragraph. Well done. Great. Um, here, I'm not sure you need this. I would probably argue that's a little bit repetitive when you've only got so few words. Um, <clears throat> it kind of feels like you're saying again what you said there. Uh, the reason why I had to cancel was that my uncle met with an accident in the morning. Now, I wouldn't say met with. Um, I would say had. Uh, terrifying. So let's get some adjectives in here. A terrifying accident in the morning. And my wife was really worried. Um, so I, you don't need to come with that. So I had to catch. Uh, okay. So uh, all following this or. Consequently, seems a bit formal, but um, following this, I had to catch the immediate flight to Montreal, but do join it together to make a complex sentence. And only after reaching the hospital, now, did I get to know. This is inversion. If you can do this correctly, fantastic. After only, the verb behaves differently. Only after reaching hospital, did I get to know that it was a minor accident and nobody was hurt. OK, uh, so uh, terrifying, you have terrifying sounding accident because then when you got there, actually, it was OK. But watch out with this one. Only after reaching hospital did I get to know or did I find out that it was a minor accident. And luckily, no one was hurt. I promise next time it won't be like this. Why don't we catch up for... Um, New Year's evening, yeah. Kathy and I would like to tell you here. We may all right about when we receive this letter, loads of love. Okay. Now, don't have loads of love and yours sincerely because they kind of contradict each other. Um, you could have loads of love. Probably if you're writing to a male friend, you wouldn't say that. You'd probably say just literally, see you soon. Yeah. Um, loads of love, probably better for a female friend. Uh, I think I'd go with see you soon if you're writing to a man. OK, you sincerely remember that will be for a more formal letter. Um, otherwise, really good work. Fantastic. Thank you very much.